insanely cool cars, tool reviews, and auto repair videos. Hello everybody, I just wanted to tell you real quick a couple of things about the manual tire changer. I will be doing several videos on several different things about this tire changer, but mods, how to use it, experiments I've done to try and find the best ways to use it, the easiest ways to use it. And of course, it's gonna involve pieces of two by four and cardboard, you can see over there. I use end up using that with every job. You can see some pieces of tires here and some rubber that I found were useful in places even more useful than the cardboard and definitely longer lasting. I've got a, a cone here. This cone came with some of my stuff off the brake lathe. They do sell cones on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description to this. This one is a Vivor and I'll put a link to it. It's, it's a lot like the one on Harbor Freight, but Harbor Freight has sales and Vivor has sales. So you never know which one's going to be on sale. So I'll put a link to the Vivor one in the description and then you can just check Harbor Freight and check on my link to see which one's on sale and which one's the cheapest at the time. I have uh, modified this with some of the rubber. I'll probably go back and modify it with some thicker rubber like from the uh, sidewall of a tire. I've got these sidewalls here where I lay the tire and rubber here because it's got that bump right there on purpose to help the tire and wheel from sliding away from the trunk. But I also have this strap over here that I've been using, but I don't pull it right up against the trunk or the fuselage of the thing because then there's kind of a technique to it and I want this to be at a certain angle. So I've also modded it by drilling another set of holes, partially because I've been experimenting with oversized wheels and tires that this is not supposed to be able to do. And I've had pretty good luck with that. It's a bit of a technique about all of this. And then some other tire videos of doing things that turned out to be, you don't even need the manual tire changer on some of the tire stuff that I've been doing. All that and more. Yeah, this is the piece that came with it instead of the cone. And you can see that beautiful wheel right there. I am not touching that wheel with this. That's why I ended up getting the cone. And I've got a couple of more tire irons coming. They're gonna work better than this tire iron that comes with it. Because back when I used to do a lot of motorcycle tires and stuff, I had a good set of tire irons. And uh, well, we'll get into that in those other videos. Many of those videos I've already filmed and edited and scheduled to release on the, in a new playlist I call Tires. <laughs> and when I finish making all those videos and releasing them, I think I'll make like a, a top five tips on the manual tire change video or something like that. I'm gonna watch y'all's comments and see what y'all have to say and the questions you have and stuff before I make those videos and try to answer all the questions in those videos too while I'm doing that. So I hope to see you in the next few videos and we can really discover all the neat stuff that we can do with this manual tire changer. The subscribe button is right there. And then you hit the bell and it'll appear down here and you hit all. To see links in the description of the video, look below the video, you'll see more. And then the description pops up. To make the description go away, after you've scrolled through and found the links that you want, the X to hit like.